they had in Boston with the Celtics and the Red Sox and the Bruins and the, and the Patriots where every year they seem to be playing for a title. We never did. Now, we've had moments, we've had stretches where the Yankees gave us, um, you know, four out of five championships. Um, but not much else. We had two great giant Super Bowl wins. But the Jets haven't been to the Super Bowl since Joe Namath. Uh, the Rangers haven't won a Stanley Cup since 94. The Knicks haven't won since 73. Right. We have not had that run. Now, I'm not saying that we're in the midst of it, but bear with me here. I think, I think the Mets are having just this wondrous season right now. And I think that they're set up to be a perennial contender. They just are. They've got the infrastructure. They've got the owner with the money. They've got the GM with the smarts. I think that this is just the beginning. Whatever they do this year, just the beginning. So I think this is the beginning of what will be an extended run of postseason appearances. Now, on the other side of town, the Yankees show you that they make the postseason almost every single year. And although they haven't gotten to the World Series since 2009, they're at least a threat to go almost every single year. Now, the Jets, I can't say it's going to be a long-term thing with the Jets, but if somehow Aaron Rodgers' short stay there can change the culture, maybe this could be a little bit of a run, and you would hope that the Giants are only going to get better. The Rangers are really, really good. The Islanders should be better if they can stay healthy. Hope the Devils turn things around. But this could be the beginning now of a time. I left out the Knicks. And the Nets right now are not close. But the Knicks, I think, are going to be good for the next three, four, five years. This could be the beginning of a run in New York where every single season on the calendar, we got a chance to get excited. Well, let's look at the current climate, all right? I, I think the Jets are in the conversation. I don't know if they're going to win a Super Bowl, Michael, but they're in the conversation of competing as a playoff team, and maybe you, you can dare to dream. Same can be said for the Mets and the Yankees. I think the Mets are, can be, make the playoffs and be in a position to be able to make a run. Yankees are always there, and they're probably going to go in as the best team in the American League, if not the best team in baseball. And that's all you can really ask for out of a regular season is to have more wins than anybody else, give you an excellent chance to make a run. The two Garden teams, I think, are both going to be hyped. Rangers coming off a Final Four appearance, and the Knicks have to feel like if they were healthy, they'd have a chance to go as far as the Rangers did last year and if not take that next step. So there are teams right there that feel like they're positioned. The other thing is some of those teams, though, they're in a position, the jury's still out about their management. I, I still don't know if Joe Douglas and, and Robert Sala are, are championship caliber. I don't know that. But I, 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 I really feel like the Knicks have the right management in place. Yankee fans, to their standard, it might not be the right management, but looking at how the regular seasons have gone, I think you're in good shape with Cashman and Boone. Yankee fans are going to throw up in their mouth when I say that, but at least what happens in the regular season says that there's stats to back that up. And I, and I, I think David Stearns, even though it's a very short sample size, has been really impressive. So ultimately, Michael, you've got teams that are really going to bang on the door, but you have other teams that I think the management that's in place is outstanding. And isn't that more than half the battle? To have competent people running your organization is going to put you in a position to be successful. And I think that we're in a pretty good shape with some of these teams, and some of them the jury's out. We'll see about the Giants. We'll see about the Jets. But right now, I feel good about the MSG management. I feel good about the Mets management. I think there's enough evidence to feel good about the Yankee management. Uh, the Devils, people are predicting them to win the division. We'll see if that ends up happening. you got Lou Lamorello running the Islanders. The, you, could, you, you can't do a lot better than that. So... There's a lot to be excited but can about. But not to be that guy. Go ahead, please. Be the guy? Well, it's sports radio. Thank you. He, one of them has to happen, man. He, he's one of these potential championships, guys, has to become a championship. I mean, it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world if the Knicks ben, are capable of coming up number three ben, in the NBA and the, the Jets are capable of getting to the conference championship and losing to Kansas City and, and the Yankees can l lose to the Astros in the in the ALCS and the Mets can... I mean, one of these has to turn and, into and, a ring. Sometimes it's where you least expect it. And maybe the Mets and the Jets can be those teams. Now, history is going to tell you don't fall in love. You hear it in Greeny's voice, Michael. He's so afraid to feel good because the other shoe always drops. 
but it always dropped on the Saints and the Patriots and teams like that, and then they eventually got it right and they turned it around. Why can't the Mets and Jets be that, Michael? I mean, on the it, it may be the teams that we think, well, they never do it. Maybe this is the time it finally happens. It, maybe the Mets get hot and make a run the way the Giants did to their two Super Bowls. You know, and maybe maybe the Jets are like the Giants where, eh, they're not as good as Kansas City. And we'll see how good they are against the Bills when they play them in a couple of weeks. But who knows? Maybe they can be the team that ends the curse. It's just so odd that you look at Boston, and Boston had that run where it seemed like Every one of their teams had a chance every year to win. And the Red Sox won four World Series, and the Patriots won six Super Bowls. And, I mean, just uh, all I want, I'm not saying, obviously you want the rings and you want the titles and and the trophies. But you want to have every single season have hope. Where, where the fan base could get excited. There's no way that the Met fan base is not excited. And is and although they come off as curmudgeonly, there's no way the Yankee fan base is not excited. The Nick fan base is excited. Ranger fan base is excited. I think the Jet fan base is excited. The Giants, yeah. not yet. Not yet. But, you know, maybe if they beat Dallas on Thursday, then there'll be a level of rising yeah. excitement in them. Give me a chance. New York has New York's the greatest city in the world. And it doesn't seem like we dominate when it comes to competing for championships. Maybe this is the time. But it is cyclical, like you say, title town in Boston because of of how well in recent. But that was a long cycle, man. Patriots. But that's a long cycle when the when the Red Sox finally won in 04 is the first time since 1918 when the Bruins won in 2011. And by the way, haven't won since. You had to go back to 1972 the last time they had won. And the Patriots weren't even on the map until Parcells got there. Right, so you can go from never winning to all of a sudden that's all you do is win. So, hey, and we also have the advantage of having you know uh, counting the Liberty, who have an excellent chance to win a championship. But of the four major sports, the ones that have the huge followings, there's you know there's nine teams. We've got be- a better chance. I think that's what's so egregious, Michael, that we have so many professional sports franchises, and outside of NY- NYCFC, none of them have won over the last decade. It- it's kind of crazy, but maybe. Maybe the wheel's starting to turn. The franchise that never seemed to get it right, the Jets, the Mets, the Knicks, are teams that might be figuring it out right now. They might be. I can basically guarantee the first one that's coming to this town, by the way. And what's that, baby? It's Liberty. Well, yeah, it does feel like that, That's happening. Anyway. It feels to me like they're going to roll. And that'll maybe that'll just be the set-off. Uh, of a run here. It would be so fun. Oh, my. I've been in Sports Talk Radio now for, you know, listen, just whatever, eight and a half years. But it has never been, uh, you know, a lot of good, particularly with the football. So I, I would love to see the greenies of yeah. the world get to have some joy. Yeah, you know, I-, I saw an interview that Mike and Chris did, and and they actually attribute a lot of their success because when they came upon the scene, Don, It was the Knicks. It was the Rangers. It was the beginning of the Yankees. It was the Giants. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the lifeblood for Sports Talk Radio. I mean, you don't always want to be ripping. You also want to be celebrating, too. And people get involved. I mean, I could just tell you just on the yes front. When the Yankees win, the postgame shows have much higher ratings than when they lose. People don't want to hear you talk about losing. Now, we think that it works for us because the, the phones light up when people want to complain. But still, they, they're hate listening. They, they, they want to get their pound of yeah, flesh. That's, I'm glad you said that because we only can go by the people that call. And I think the people that call are usually negative. That's why we just assume the whole Yankee fan base can't stand the team because those are the people that get through. But I would think for the most part... Yankee fans are enjoying this run and really believe this team can make a run. Same same with all the teams in the market. So you're right. When a team's losing, there you get rants, you get phone calls. But does it really move the needle rating-wise, Michael, when there's a lot of fans that just say, you know what, I, I can't listen anymore. I can't listen to all the negativity. To get a run, that, that we, we haven't had it since the Giants. A, a real run to a, a championship, uh, and it's, it's been quite a while.